The watchtower does not like for elders to do the right thing, which is advise the parents to go to the police. Many people don't care about Jehovah's Witnesses, nor do they care about Jehovah's Witness children. This is victory. Bad elders, bad elders, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when it come for you? Bad elders, bad elders, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when it come for you? Elders is going to jail. Let's get to the meat and potatoes of this case. So Hernandez Pedraza, what kind of name is that first of all? Hernandez Pedraza was uh, convicted of sexual assault and other crimes related to the girl's ongoing sexual abuse. Neither the police nor the Department of Children or Family Services was notified until the victim was 18 years old. She told the church elders that the, the abuse continued. The girl endured countless sexual assaults and death threats, death threats by her abuser throughout her childhood. According to trial testimony, Hernandez Pedro, Pedroza, Pedraza, wherever the hell, Pedraza is serving 45 years in prison. On Friday, the church elders Michael Pencava, 72 years old, and Colin Scott, 88 years old, were found guilty of a Class A criminal misdemeanor for violating privileges of the state's mandatory reporting law. They each face up to one year in jail when sentenced on March the 25th, 2022. <laughs> this is victory. This is victory for all XJWs. This is victory. This is exactly what many of the XJWs have been fighting for. Like I told y'all, I gave up because our justice system keeps failing children. Well, I guess if you keep on trying, eventually you get justice. Pinkava, the funniest thing is Pinkava said he did what he was trained to do as a church elder. I'm sure you did. This is why you wouldn't want, I wouldn't want to be an elder. Let me tell y'all something, y'all Jehovah's Witness elders, y'all congregation elders. After this, y'all ain't going to want to be no elders no more. I wouldn't want to be elder anymore because you know what? That ain't my problem. And why aren't the parents being held accountable for this nonsense where are the parents in this they ain't nowhere to be found because like i said if y'all watch my other video in regards to csa watchtower becomes the parents parents so since watchtower want to become people parents and have the elders watching over the so-called watching over some flock while they protecting child molesters and pedophiles you know because most a lot of people say a person can be a pedophile and not necessarily be a child molester so if you want to say that you could go there pedophile child molester whatever um this was a child molester so the judge found it was extremely irresponsible of pinkava to take advice regarding the protection of a six-year-old from someone over the phone yes let's get to this someone over the phone The parents get notified by the child that somebody harmed them. The parents, dumbasses, calls the congregation elders. That's the procedure that they do. The congregation elders, with their dumbasses, calls Bethel, the society, a.k.a. Wachill, a.k.a. Warwick, a.k.a. West Patterson. It used to be Brooklyn. They don't have Brooklyn anymore. So we got Warwick, West Patterson, and Walk Hill, and a stupid elder calls in. He doesn't even know who he spoke to on the phone. How in the hell, for all, for all we know, he might have called Domino's Pizzeria. You mean to tell me you called Bethel? You called Brooklyn? Because at this time, this was 2006, they still had Brooklyn. So that means some dumb, this dumb elder, Michael Pinkaver, called Brooklyn, and... Ask them for legal advice 
instead of going to Child Protective Services or going to the police. He calls Brooklyn. He calls Bethel. He calls the Watchtower headquarters. That's the procedure. That is the procedure. That's the procedure. They don't go to the cops. They don't. Exactly. So, they tried to claim a clergy penitent privilege. They always do this. This is their this is their deal. This is their scam. This is what they've been doing for hundreds of years. Clergy penitent privilege to shield to shield the flock. They the purpose of clergy penitent privilege is to shield the flock and not protect the devil. Adding that they they, they adding that what they did protected um, Pedraza, whatever. They really, whoever this lawyer is, Kennelly said, <laughs> yeah, y'all protect pedophiles. It was ignorance born out of carelessness, their own recklessness and stupidity. My favorite word. Stupidity. Yeah, your stupid selves calling watchtower when you got a case in your hands some parent coming to you talking about my child got touched and you talking about some let's call the society let's call bethel call bethel they should have called the police the girl and the church elders already paid the price um blah 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 sister state's attorney asha the elders knew the elders knew this girl was being abused and their defense went from privilege to bad legal advice. Oh God! So this is uh, this is in Illinois. This is victory. This is victory for many XJWs who have been working diligently around the clock, trying to help the lawyers and trying to help the government and trying to help just trying to help the legal system see what their pattern is and when it's all said and done and when it all goes to court they lean upon that bullshit ass clergy penitent privilege of how an elder is really technically um legally not responsible to be reporting this well now those laws are going to change and this is just illinois so let's say let's get to new york Let's get to New Jersey. Let's get to the tri-state area. Let's see if they we can get those states to start changing their laws. And we're going to have more justice for victims of child sex abuse. Because now, elders can no longer get away with telling parents of the congregation to report sexual abuse to the elders, to them. Yeah, let me get my little glasses out. Y'all want, want people to be uh, reporting um, child sexual abuse to the elders? Well, now, here we go. Because now the elders are going to be doing jail time. Because you want to sit up there and be the parents of our parents? You want to be the parents of Jehovah's Witness parents? Because Jehovah's Witness parents ain't nothing but some stupid boo woo the fools to be going and taking their children to the stupid elders. The elders take the responsibility. Now, you're going to bear the brunt and do the time. The, the parents should be going to jail, too. I don't care what anybody says. The parents should be going to jail, too. They should not be consulting with no congregation elders for their child being sexually abused they should be going straight to the police not to no stupid congregation elders but now you know what all oh, that's gonna change this is just the tip of the iceberg because if Illinois is able to get this pushed forward then guess what happened it's, it's gonna come to New York it's gonna come to New Jersey New York is the Mecca okay because that's where the headquarters of the watchtower is all up in Warwick and Walk Hill and West Patterson wherever the hell now y'all trying to get get a get an audio that audio visual production facility up in Ramapo okay it don't matter where y'all go because guess what y'all asses is going to jail one year is a smack on a risk a uh, risk I could say one year is a smack on a risk but you know what it doesn't matter because for the XJW community this is progress this is victory this is justice this is something that we never thought we would ever see I just knew we would never see it because I was like well they always they always go with that clergy penitent privilege and they get a fucking way with it and pedophiles just keep on touching children this man touched this girl for years 
This is going back to 2006. This is absolutely despicable and disgusting. And Michael Pencava is 72 years old and Colin Scott is 88 years old. You got two old dusty geezers about to go take up a jail cell. Okay, this is a big, big case. I hope that this case should have gotten way more media attention. This, 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 this case needs more media attention. This is why I'm bringing it to my platform. That's right. I want the whole world to know. Elders, Jehovah's Witness elders, y'all better watch out. I don't even care if it's one year. I don't give a damn if it's five J's. Somebody got to do jail time for these children getting molested and sexually assaulted and they have no justice because they go to their parents and the parents go to the stupid elders and then the stupid elders claim penitent privilege nonsense and they get off and the pedophile just keeps on touching children years in and years out. You know, many people don't care about Jehovah's Witnesses, nor do they care about Jehovah's Witness children. For the most part, main, mainstream America doesn't even like Jehovah's Witnesses. Don't nobody like no Jehovah's Witnesses. So why the hell would anybody give a damn about their children? Well, guess what? Now you got a big storm of XJWs coming forward and we are telling it like it is. We are divulging in the facts. Like I said, there should be three elders, not two. It should be three. There were three elders on a judicial hearing. Thrace. So why are only two going to jail? And why aren't the parents going to jail either? I got questions. Finally, some justice for these babies. Finally, some justice for the for the silent lambs. Let's see where this turns, where this goes from here. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you all in another one. Peace.